get yourself about here. Mom. That's right. That's right. Call for your mama. I stayed off your ass out of respect for that woman. But if it wasn't for your mama, I would have broke your little ass down a long time ago. If we was on lockdown, I'd make you get on your knees and fix it. 20 years, Jody. Let's see where you be 20 years from now. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Dutch, the black non-democrat. On the last couple of videos I put out, I'm talking about single mothers and the ills of single motherhood. And a lot of people came to this video or those videos and were asking me to address the, you know, lack of black men taking responsibility in today's society with our women how they're making these babies and leaving and not giving a f about their responsibilities um and not being held accountable on today's video i'm just gonna give you guys some facts right i'm not taking up for men all i'm doing is looking at a situation that i've been through my whole life um, and watched in my family men not take care of their children, men take care of their children, and where it lies on who's responsible for what. See, I see a lot of men today, my brothers, um, my cousins, we take care of our children. You know, um, it's actually um, a fact that 57% of black men actually do take care of their children but the government don't want you to know that social media don't want you to know that and bitter black women definitely don't want you to know that you know um baby mamas don't want you to know that but it it's true and you can go look it up but i do not say that and disregard these black women's argument they have a valid argument about these men not being um there for their children see i'm not the one that you know try to you know take the outlier or take the 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 thing that um is less likely to happen and try to you know make it a whole big thing you know like they do on my channel they come in and you know like i was telling people about how single mothers um in the black community kick out their daughters um i had men coming um they kicked me out they kicked me out they kicked men out too i never said they didn't kick out men but what i'm saying is for every story of a woman kicking out a man, you literally have 10 other stories of a young girl getting kicked out of the house. So I am not the one to, you know, um, say your argument isn't valid. I do believe that it is a large amount of men that um, don't take care of their children and who are lames, who are bitch as in words people of low vibration and beta males and these men are just literally here to procreate um and and serve no purpose but i'm going to read something to you guys because i replied to one of these people and um this is what i said i'm not blaming black women I'm holding her accountable for repeating the same cycle and not caring to even try to change. 84% single mothers in the black community is a choice. I understand the trickery of the government played a huge part, but at some point, the hierarchy of black women need to start teaching the younger ones the importance of everything you've mentioned. And basically talking about how, you know, black men need to, you know, be the head of their family need to protect black women more need to protect their family more need to step up more that's what she mentioned in her comment remember women choose who to procreate with 
and the results of these choices lead to incompetent males that serve no purpose other than reproducing and not giving a fuck about their responsibilities. As long as black women in general don't value family, the cycle will continue to be what it has been. I can't tell an incompetent person to take control. That's what you are telling these men to do. They literally can't understand what it takes to become men. Now, some will say, hey, you know, um, the women, they're incompetent. So why are you telling them to change Dutch? Yes, you're right. You're absolutely right. If they are incompetent, you guys go down in the comment section and you tell me, is women incompetent? Hmm. Let's find out in the comment section and we'll go back and forth. In my head, they are highly competent of making these decisions. See, they have been convinced by the U.S. government and mainly the Democratic Party that they don't need no man. They independent. So they take their competence and um, apply it elsewhere instead of valuing family. Like I said, I got women that I know that look down on my wife for just being a wife because the idea of being a wife is someone who's lorded over, someone who um, submits to her husband, someone who don't have a life, someone who just in the house slaving over um, fucking food and all of this, right? Where my wife looks at that and hears it and she be like, wow, that's what they really think? My wife have fun. My wife loves being a wife and a mother. My wife loves providing for her family. My wife loves to look at us and be proud of what she accomplished with me and my three little girls. We look at our little girl right now who is in college, 19 years old, out here adulting. We look at that and be like, wow, we created this. We built this and now she's prospering. You see what I'm saying? Along with my 14 year old, along with my nine year old, they all are prospering based upon our love, based upon our balance in this household. And that's why I preach against the single motherhood in our community. But like I said, if the women are incompetent, maybe we're just fucked. Y'all go down in the comment section. Tell me what you think. And if you are, please stay unplugged from false narratives. I'm out. Peace.